once again welcome back in this new problem which is related to the uniform motion to be specific in the horizontal direction so here we come across a problem there is a motorist who is traveling at a speed of 72 km per hour when he observes a traffic light 180 meter ahead of him turns red the traffic light is time to be staying for 10 second so let us understand by means of a animation so a motorist is initially traveling with a velocity of 72 km when he was at this particular location he observed that there is a red signal and this particular signal post is at a distance of 180 meter so when the car was at a distance of 180 meter he observes that the signal is red and that red signal is going to stay for 10 second but he, that motorist doesn't want to stop on that particular signal so he has to maintain the velocity so that by the time he'll be reaching this post this particular light will turn green means the traffic is allowed to move across the signal so let us have the understanding of that particular problem so here initial velocity is given 72 km per hr the distance between the car and the uh, signal post is 180 meter he is moving in a such a direct such a way that he has to pass that signal without stopping at that particular signal because it will be turning red so he has to have the manipulation of the speed accordingly he will be passing without any obstruction so let us see that so you, you might have seen the car has moved by that time the signal was green we got to find out the required uniform acceleration and the speed of the motor as it passes the signal light is it okay so that is final velocity let us have the solution for this given things are initial velocity 72 km per hr that is equal to 20 meter per second distance to be traveled is 180 meter time taken to travel this 180 meter is given equal to 10 second because he has to pass before the signal turns green is it okay so with this given set of data we shall be having the analysis of this problem so here first formula which is best suited here that is s is equal to ut plus half at square why i have chosen this particular formula because after going through the given data u is given s is given t is given a is required to be found out is it okay so this is the best suited formula so substitute the appropriate values and simplify it we got acceleration is equal to minus 0.4 meter per second square means initially the speed was more so he has to deaccelerate or retard the motion so that value of retardation is given minus 0.4 meter per second square next v is equal to u plus at we got to find out the final velocity so we know initial velocity we got acceleration that is retardation minus 0.4 we also know the time taken so with this set substitute the values and find out the final velocity v is equal to 16 meter per second so this was expected to found out find out from this particular problem required uniform acceleration so here it is retardation of minus 0.4 meter per second square and final velocity v equal to 16 meter per second so this is how we have found out the required parameter for this particular sort of a problem i hope you have understood this problem thoroughly